Yeah, good news, David Glenda, and a lot brighter here. So when you look behind me, you probably don't think there's anything out of the ordinary, right? Well, actually, there's a really big deal going on behind me. Those streetlights you see, as you mentioned, they were out for over a year, and neighbors here were really frustrated, and they thought this area was becoming dangerous because it was so dark. Well, now they're getting results. Piercing the night sky on Monte Vista, a pair of new streetlights. Within 12 hours of our story Friday night, these busted and burnt out lamps were replaced by new ones that illuminate the night sky. I was shocked. I expected it to be done in a week. I didn't expect it to be done in a day. An illuminated street gives the people who live here a new sense of security. It was scary. Um, our neighbors, we looked out for each other. You know, we saw one going in, we would wait till the person got in the house. But it was scary because you couldn't see anything. This story of quick action comes with a very positive twist. The man who fixed these bulbs works for Detroit's lighting department. Rather than wait until next week, he jumped into action today during his own free time. He came here to Monte Vista and put in the new bulbs. When the guy showed up and my neighbor told me the story that he saw the story on the news, I was so happy. He even trimmed back the trees to make sure the lights are not obscured by the branches. My neighbor surprised me. When I came home, she told me she called the um, TV station. I didn't think anyone would come out. I didn't think it was that important. But y'all thought it was important, and because y'all thought it was important, we have lights. And, of course, we're always happy to help out. And big kudos goes out to the man who works for the Detroit Lighting Department. We spoke to him tonight by phone. He says he loves his community, and he was just trying to step up to make things work here on Monta Vista. Reporting live in Detroit, I'm Tom Wade, Channel 7 Action News.